hi guys it's emma and if you don't know me i'll leave some links in the description so that you guys can go check out my introduction videos and my little story time video of my journey to where i am now and why i'm here <laughs> today i thought i would just have a little chit chat with you guys because i've been posting my room makeover series and as you can tell i am in my room that is now complete and i've been putting together all of the videos to show the process and i wanted to release another post about bringing up all my furniture and getting my cabinet up here because i was so proud of it i had to deassemble everything because it couldn't fit up the stairs i had to take all of the doors off the cabinet doors and also to take out the shelves so when we brought it upstairs i reassembled it and i used a little hand drill and everything and i was like so proud <laughs> that i managed to get it all together and so there was that and also bringing up my dining table and my bed the bed frame the mattress the everything it was great something happened and i edited my video and i got everything ready to go and then i went in to download it and for some reason my editing app said that some of the footage got corrupt and i lost it all <laughs> i lost all of that so unfortunately i can't show you those things but unfortunately i can't show you those things but obviously it happened because <laughs> i'm here i just thought i would explain to you guys in case you were wondering well what happened in between <laughs> can i get a drum roll please <laughs> Welcome to the finale of my room makeover series. Time for the big reveal. Kinda. <laughs> Yes, I had to run straight to my cabinet to show you because I was so proud that I managed to put it together. I put the doors back on because getting it up the stairs was a heavy nightmare. All the furniture to be brought up the stairs, except for the couch because that was already here. So this is kind of like the big reveal of part one of many. <laughs> I did want to state a few final notes of thought. I ended up going over most of the walls with a fourth coat like the very top corner of the wall that is above the door that reaches to the ceiling is a very awkward place so i managed to get one of those extension rods to attach to my paint roller and we used a paint pad so that we could get into the corner but most of the whole space has been done over with four coats i wasn't quite happy and I wanted to make sure that it looked as even as possible. And the reason that all my walls are white is because I won't be staying here permanently. So I want it to be easy enough to pack up and go. And I do think that there is some truth in just having a clean space where you can bring in a potential buyer and they can themselves envision what the space can be used for like this room originally was used for like entertaining so we had a couch and a ping pong table and a dartboard um, and then it became an office and then a crafts room and now it's my bedroom <laughs> so that's kind of my reasoning behind why i stuck to simple paint colors but for the rest of my decor and the things that I want to hang up in my room like some fake plants and twinkle lights and I want to put a wall hanging up behind me and I want to hang up my artwork and make some nice frames and all of those things I will show you as I go along to just breathe more life and coziness into the space because I, I want to be a colorful, cheery person. I love neutrals, but I also want to explore pairing that with pastel colors. I don't know, I just, I love bursts of color. And I think that that's exactly what the space needs. So I'm definitely going to be adding some pops of color to make the space feel a little bit more me. 
So getting back to moving my furniture upstairs, I did take some photos of the progress of some of the furniture items that were moved up. So, so I will release a carousel of photos on Facebook and Instagram for you guys to go check out to just get a basic idea. But like I said, I did lose quite a bit of footage. So there are things that I took mostly video of instead of photos. But now I've learned my lesson <laughs> and I will make sure to, to try and balance both in the future as I'm doing little projects and as I continue posting. So thanks guys. I hope that that kind of explains a little bit about what happened there. And I'm sorry that that happened. It was not my intention, <laughs> really. I was so excited to show you guys some video, but unfortunately I'm only left with a couple of photos and a carousel that I get to show you. But I do want to post a little bit about my storage solutions and and where I stored some of my things and how I arranged my books in my cabinet and where I have a dedicated space for my interior design work and I've just gotten a freestanding clothes rack that is been a total game changer because I only have chests of drawers up here for my clothes, my shoes, my everything. So I really wanted to get the freestanding clothes rack so that I could hang up some of my smarter, bulkier clothing items to free up space in my chest of drawers that I can utilize in a better way. I don't know at what point in time anyone's gonna be watching these things. So I'm gonna drop some links to my room makeover series so that this video will then make sense. And if you guys haven't seen my little talk about my clothes rack, then go check out that video as well. I'm not sure if you're watching this before or after that, but I will make it pretty obvious about which one it is. <laughs> so I hope that you guys find this useful.